Hey, Pastor Dana Coverstone here, Brooksville, uh, Kentucky, Living with Ministries Church. Uh, in Jasonville, Indiana, on my way home right now, my daughter's driving. I meant to get this on earlier, but because of preaching in the morning and afternoon service, we're not able to. Uh, but last night, Saturday night, July 25th, right around 1.19, I woke up from a dream that I had. And uh, interestingly enough, Mike Livengood had just tested me, or texted me an encouraging message all the way from New Zealand. And so he's the guy that Tom had prophesied of thousands decades ago, but nonetheless... Uh, I woke up to hear the notification go off, and it was Mike Livengood texting me. And so I took that as a sign after I got up from the dream that definitely it was from the Lord. Uh, in this dream, I saw a calendar start in July, and it faded. It was almost like the month of July just faded off of the calendar, and it went right into August. And I saw August, the letters of August, September, October, November, December just got bold. Very, very bold. And uh, almost like they've been highlighted with a black marker. And then suddenly I'm walking near an abandoned slaughterhouse in the hometown where I grew up, about half a block from where I was staying at the moment. It used to be near my Aunt Betty's house. She used to live, we used to work there. And suddenly this overgrown with grass and weeds uh, ha uh, uh, slaughterhouse comes to life. I see smoke coming out of smokestacks. I see movement inside. And I'm watching what's going on. And suddenly I realize that it's demons inside, demons with uh, just ugliness about them began to appear before my eyes inside the building and they were arming themselves with weapons and preparing it for it seemed like for war and then I realized that this town was not the only place where this was taking place every a major city small rural communities uh, these the there were places where the demons were getting together uh, almost in teams and were preparing for war in that region and then I realized that these kind of preparations that were taking place were just like sleeper cells, like terrorist sleeping cell, uh, sleeper cells all over uh, the country. We think of terrorist sleep, sleeper cells getting ready for something. But only these were demons. Uh, and, and the cities of Minneapolis, Portland, Seattle, Louisville, they were just the opening assaults, and, and much more was planned by these cells in ways of violence and chaos. And the first volley that I saw was an assault on ministers and Christian leaders in the areas of sexual temptations and accusations. I saw the spirits of lust and pornography being released relentlessly, unleashed on pastors, upon Christian men throughout this country. It was a full out, full frontal staged attack on the minds of Christian men, pastors, and, and ministers. I saw marriage, I saw ministry marriages that were under attack and the need for those Christian couples to focus on their prayer lives together to defend themselves against these things that were coming. And they were very, very strong spiritual attacks. And then I saw the outline of the nation and, and smoke rising from what appeared to be outdoor funeral pyres. Uh, think of the Vikings and, and Native Americans who used to put the bodies up on a funeral pyre and burn it, you know, and it would go into the sky. Uh, but here's what I saw. I saw headlines declaring a sudden increase in a nationwide suicide spike. And that included some in Christian leadership. I saw people in ministry who were killing themselves. Uh, I saw angry people demanding that the government would, would fix the problems causing the suicides, which were mainly the financial losses, uh, forced evictions, job loss, the depression spikes, drug overdoses, and just rampant increases in abuse, both emotional, sexual, and physical, because of the COVID shutdowns. Uh, I, and then I saw post offices. I saw post offices that were open two to three days a week, not every day a week, not, not Monday through, through Saturday. I saw fields, large fields, fields that were filled with postal trucks, the smaller ones that delivered to your door or to your, to your mailbox. Uh, and they were, just, they were just full of these things. I, I saw the unemployment rate hit above 50% in the headlines with no help from the government. And that was spurring a lot of violence towards the government people in Washington, D.C. Uh, and the crowds were heinous. And I mean heinous in their efforts to get the attention. And, and then I saw that same white figure, but he, he appeared this time and he said, brace yourself, brace yourself, brace yourself. Well, the emphasis on the word brace. Um, there were sleeper cells who were almost being activated. And I mean activated to, to bring attacks on Christian pastors, Christian ministers, Christian ministries. Uh, it was going to be a relentless attack on the body of Christ through the pastors. And I saw Christian marriages under assault. And so I just want to warn the church, the pastors, be Make sure people are praying for you and watching what's going on because there is, there is coming an attack on our minds, our our sexual purity. So guard your marriages, your relationships, the things that are you know the things you got to watch. Make sure you're watching what what you're seeing on the internet, on your on your computers, your phones. 
Because the enemy is going to do everything he can to destroy pastors and ministers right now. And he's also going to do everything he can to destroy Christian men in marriages. Because the spirit of lust and the spirit of pornography was one strong thing I saw. And I saw great waves of suicides coming. Um, at this point, I'm just, I'm just putting things that I'm seeing and dreaming. I don't want to have a dream a week or a dream every day. I don't want to be doing this. But I understand that God's shifting some things in my life and my ministry and my call. And I'm seeing things that I believe are coming. Uh, the, the coin shortage continues, and now we're starting to see ones and fives in, in various situations getting less. We're seeing stores that are putting up, you know, no longer taking cash. So there are some aspects of those dreams that are happening as I speak. Um, I'm not claiming to be anything, but I'm a pastor who's having dreams and visions, and I'm seeing things that I believe are coming, and I'm trying to warn the pastors. I'm trying to warn the churches. These things are coming, and we got to be ready for them. So be in prayer, be in the Word. Watch what's going on in your head, what's going through your eye gate, and make sure you keep your eyes and your hearts pure.